Hi everyone, welcome. I came home to a Stitch Fix box today, so you know it's going to be a good day when you get to check this out, see what's inside. This will be my Stitch Fix number 20. Hope that I have my same stylist, Jen, and I hope that you all stick around and share this box with me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome and as you can see I have got a Stitch Fix box. So I am really excited to rip this open and share it with everyone. If you are new to my channel, I just want to say welcome. I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button right there. would love to have you come back and visit again. If you are my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. I truly appreciate your support. I hope that everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always welcome, especially when it comes to the clothing boxes because I really look forward to your help in deciding what I should keep, what I should return, and Stitch Fix. I will leave everything in my description below for you as well as a link. Um, that link, if you are new to Stitch Fix, will give you a $25 credit on your first box. It will also give me a $25 credit on my next box. Uh, you're going to go online, fill out a quick questionnaire. A uh, stylist will be assigned to you and she will curate a box of five items. Could be anything from just regular clothes, athleisure wear, jeans, business wear, could be uh, handbags or jewelry or scarves, outerwear, all kinds of good things. And your questionnaire will help the stylist pick those out for you. Um, there's a, well, if you keep everything in your box, give the five items, that's a five, five, four, five, and that gives you 25% off on all the items. Uh, you pay for what you keep. Normally, there's a $20 styling fee, which is applied to anything that you purchase. Um, some of us have the $49 pass. I don't know what that criteria was, why some of us got it and some of us didn't. But with that $49, we can have unlimited styling without any additional fees. Just uh, pay for what you get. That $49 would have been paid for in the next time we made a purchase. You can get this monthly, bi-monthly. You can get it every other month, just uh, seasonally, whatever you want. So when you open your box, and of course all the instructions are going to be online, but if you forgot or you just don't want to take a quick peek, it's right there on the top of your box. Inside your box, you're going to get your bag of goodies. You're going to get a return mailer uh, by the U.S. Postal Service to return that. So there's many ways that you can return this, whether you go to the post office uh, directly, get a receipt, call for them to pick it up, uh, stop and put it in one of those big mailboxes, all kinds of things. You're going to get an envelope. Your stylist thought these would look great on you. In this, you are going to get your invoice, which is going to show you everything that you got, the prices, the sizes. Anything that you don't want is going to be returned in this, or if you need to exchange it for a different size, it would go in that bag as well. You are going to get a note from your stylist and oh my thing is already falling apart little style cards and there's my note from my stylist and I do have Jen again and again this is going to be my 20th box so I'm you know the last one I got this wasn't perforated at all and it was a mess and this one's already falling apart so I guess that one was ripped really good or folded really well and inside going to get your clothes your bundle some people call it a burrito so let's get this open and see what we got and paper's kind of noisy so we're just going to shove that aside and in this box, I did ask for some petite tops this time. And I never considered myself a petite person, but I get, you've probably seen those infamous bat wings that I get. And Cranky Grandma, she's a really nice lady. Don't know why she calls herself Cranky, because she's really nice. She suggested I try petite tops, and maybe that would eliminate my bat wings. So 
let's see if that little trick worked. So this first one is a market and spruce and it is a medium petite and it is called the Embry Mix Media Top in a teal green. It's got some nice teal green. It's got a little keyhole right here in the front. It's got some peach, peachy colored flowers. And the back is a solid, solid color. So I decided to try on some petite tops and maybe not have bat wings. This is not a top. This is, or it's a very, very long top. And this is a Wisp Petites, the size 8 Petite. It's called the Ella Jersey Maxi Dress. And it looks like a pretty shade of maybe like a cornflower blue. It's got some, maybe some peach or apricot going through it. Flew it through it. A little bit of neck detail. Looks like it goes maybe along the waistline. And then continues the length of the dress. And around the hemline. So my camera did a little... I thought it was going to freeze on it. Looks like maybe it's not a halter, but it looks like maybe it just cuts in to maybe show a little bit more shoulder. So excited to try that on. And with the petite length, maybe I won't be tripping on it. Got another petite medium top by Saray. This is called the Talia V-neck blouse. It's in black. Looks like a really like a chiffon type material. It's got a nice deep V. A little button closure open in the back and yes it's lined so it's a really thin material but it is uh, completely lined in this black so that should looks really really cute on not sure if that pattern is coming out but just interesting and looks like another top this is from Paper Moon Petite. This is called the Kiera Keyhole Back Blouse. This is beige and this one is a large petite. It's got little flutter sleeves, so it looks like a kind of a tan. Maybe it's got some uh, dark chocolate brown polka dots. Flutter sleeve, not a scoop neckline, but it is a, a wide neckline. So I think that it's gonna kind of look pretty. Decided to try that on and looks like a pair of jeans and these are love by Liverpool these are six uh oh they're called capris and we all know that you've heard Nancy say oh they do have nice stretch I like them already because they have stretch but we will see you know I've said a million times I don't like capris and then what did I do I bought capris and then I said I don't do crop pants and what did I do I bought crop pants so sometimes your stylist pays attention to what you say and what you do so they do have this rolled cuff so maybe this is going to be a length that I am going to fall in love with so anyway excited to try these on for everyone stick around and I'll be right back all right so I'm back with the first two items uh, the first one is this Market and Spruce Top. It's in teal green. It's a medium petite for $54. And I have on the Liverpool, the Belinda Skinny Crop Jean in navy size 6. And that's for $88. Alrighty, so the top is pretty. And if you look, I mean, it's I think it's still kind of big in here. But I don't have the massive bat wings. But I don't think I'm size small. But... It just it's uh, I think it's kind of still big on the top I do like this keyhole I do like the color it's a really pretty teal green with the apricot in it and the pants let me know what you think I did roll up it does have a wide cuff that is sewed and then on one of them I did roll it up just one time more just to see if I liked it any better with a shorter length so there's the pants they are a good fit for size six. I still, I'm not ready to size down again, but they are a little big at the waistband maybe. But other than that, they fit good. They've got some nice stretch. I just don't think I'm uh, quite ready for 
crop jeans like this one yet. So let me know your thoughts on that and I will be right back. Ready. next we have on the Paper Moon. It's the Kiera, the Kiera Keyhole back dress. Got these cute little, cute little flutter sleeves. It's got this uh, wider neckband. It's a nice uh, tan with some dark chocolate. I think it's a really cute blouse. I really love the shape of the neckline. My shoulders are, are right here, so I think it's a little big. This one was a large petite. And again, I think it is big. The armholes are go down a little too low for me. It is cute. I was worried that the petite tops might be a little too short for me, but I think the length is still good. I just don't think this is the right size. But it is a really cute top. I do like these flutter sleeves and that scoop neckline I really like. So let me uh, go get my little, another top on and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with the, the Serene, the v-neck blouse. This one is fully lined. It's a medium petite. This one is $58. So it does have an interesting little pattern on it. It's got a nice v-neck. So you can wear it with a statement piece of jewelry or just something simple. And I could go like this and say, look, my no bat wings. I think this one has a better fit than the first one. So this one definitely I wouldn't want to size down in. I think the length is good, whether I wore it with jeans, maybe I probably should have put it on with white jeans to see if I like it better because I'm not a big fan of the cropped ones, but let me know what you think and I will be back. I have the dress to go. And last outfit, this is the Wisp, the Ella dress in blue and it's $88. Again, it's a petite sizing. Let's see if I can back up to show you. The length is good. I just have on normal heels that I would wear with jeans or whatever. So I think the length is good. I like that it's got this cutaway shoulder so it goes in a little bit. And again, I could just wear this with any one of my sports bras and that would hide the bra. I love the detail right here at the neckline. I think that kind of leaves, leaves it open right there to put a nice necklace in. I think the print, um, I think the print is throwing throwing me off and then it's just too much here. I think if it was just here and maybe a little something here and didn't have this all the way down the front and back, I would like it a lot more. I do have a, it's not real bat wings, but I do still have extra material here. So probably about a half inch taken in on each side and that would be perfect. And do good for that. The back. And it is pretty, like I said, I don't think I like this all the way down the front. And I think this goes up a little too high right here. I think that probably should start right under there. So anyway, it's just little things that it is, it is pretty, but for $88, I think I'd want to love it. If it was a five for five, it would be around $58. And for that, maybe I would like it even more. But anyway, let's get ready for a recap. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so now for the recap. So uh, the five items, my total would be, if I were to keep everything, would be $326. The buy all 25% discount would be $81.50. Uh, so my total for all five would be $244.50. So for all five pieces, that's a, that I think it's a good price. Got some nice items in here. They all weren't that expensive. So this first one is the Market and Spruce. This is the Embry Mixed Media Top in a teal green, a size petite medium. This was $54. I did like it. I think it was a little too big in, in here, or across here again. I don't think I'm a small, so I, I think this one's gonna have to go back. I do like the color. I like the style. I wasn't, I was surprised that going to a petite, I didn't lose a lot in the length but I think it did kind of shorten it up in here so the bat wings were not were bad. In fact, I, I don't really think I had bat wings. I just think it was just a little too big for me. Next one is the Wisp dress, the Ella Jersey Maxi dress. I think it is pretty. I just don't think it's for me. I do like the 
how it goes in here at the shoulders so it kind of exposes a little bit of your shoulders without being a halter dress um, I did ask um, after my last my last stitch fix that for if I got another maxi dress I didn't want anything that was that low cut so I think she did a great job in picking this I like the V because I do like having some necklaces to show I just don't think the pattern was for me I think it was still a little too big for me right under the arms I mean that would be easy enough I think I just needed to take it in about a half inch on both sides which I could do but I do think that this went up a little bit higher than it should have on me and if I went to a 10 if I went sized up to a 10 I think it would just be really too big up in here but again it was a real pretty dress so I hope if someone saw this and liked it for themselves they should be able to ask for it and get it the uh, petite length was perfect for the, the shoes that I would wear with it every day this was one of my favorite tops this is the serene the Toledo the v-neck blouse this was black it's a medium petite I think the fit was perfect on me I didn't have bat wings the armholes were great there was nothing showing and this nice little keyhole in the back this one was $58 and I like it but I don't know because it's not going to be a five for five if I was going to keep this for and it was a 25% off so I'd be like 48 I'd, I'd be $44 or something around there so 43 44 dollars and for that I would probably keep it but by itself I don't know if I want to spend the 58 dollars on it if it but I might try this on with my white jeans um, or maybe I have some black dress pants and maybe a black blazer see if I like it like that to maybe dress it up a bit for work but for 58 dollars I don't think I'm going to keep it but let me know your thoughts on that next we have the crop jeans and they have a lot of nice stretch and maybe it's the love brand um, by Liverpool very very soft very very comfortable usually when you put on skinny pants you kind of have to kind of suck it in and they're tight at first these I probably you know it was loose around my my waist which I think was good the interesting thing on this is in the back it goes goes up if you can see how it goes up like right there so maybe that kind of helps with gap gapping or not showing anything but anyway I love the material on this I love the stretch they were really really comfortable I think maybe if these were just a regular skinny pant or uh, a regular length I would keep them but for the cropped pants I just I just wasn't really comfortable in them but I'm glad uh, Jen sent them to me to try since I did get a pair of cropped pants this this year so these are $88, which is standard for Liverpool. They're the Belinda, the skinny crop jeans. So if you love crop jeans and you love Liverpool, you are going to love these. The material is really, really awesome. And that's a, it's a good weight, too. The last item is by Paper Moon. And this is the Kiera, the Keyhole Back blouse. It's kind of like in a tan with some uh, chocolate polka dots on it, different sizes cute little flutter sleeves had this wide neckline that I thought was really nice I just think the large was too big on me um, you know it was way too big in the armholes and just big across here I'm not sure if I would be a medium or a small in this because I think it does probably run large um, this was the cheapest thing in the box for $38 and I know if this had a better fit I definitely would have kept this this was I think my top favorite for, for the looks and I think this would go really nice with some jeans and some brown booties but anyway let me know your thoughts on this um, I don't know if I'd want to size down on this because I don't know what size to, to get I, um, I don't think I need to lose any more weight I think I just need to tone up so I'm still kind of changing so maybe that's kind of influencing how things are fitting on me but anyway I am glad that you were here I look forward to reading your comments and I probably won't get this posted tonight because it's about 11.30 um, so I'll probably try to get it done tomorrow and then I hope everyone gets out and has a happy and safe 4th of July weekend for Independence Day and um, just thanks again for watching everybody. I look forward to your comments. Thanks again. Bye-bye.